My name is Stuart Arnold. Firstly, the good news. The MBA qualification from a renowned institution probably will contribute to your career path. It's still a very worthwhile qualification. <coughs> the other news. Are we really teaching you what you need to know? Leading people globally is an innovative new module, mainly because its focus is on skills rather than knowledge. Traditionally, MBA programs have taught theories, principles, concepts, often with a heavy application on case studies and how you use those principles. But leading people globally focuses on a a core set of skills that MBA graduates will need within the next three or four years of their careers. These are skills about managing themselves, self-leadership, self-care, how to, how to cope with setbacks and disappointments. Managing others, and that doesn't just mean you know, motivating subordinates, that also means how to build relationships with peers, with bosses, with subordinates. And then the whole area of motivating, engaging uh, and developing others in your organisation. So we're focusing on the skills for doing that and probably the first and what we see as the core skill is actually negotiation. Interestingly, because negotiation has all the elements of listening to the other person, of being clear about what it is that you want, and sometimes we, we keep some information back, of uh, the to and fro that occurs, uh, of working with people. Negotiation should not be a, a conflict. Uh, who wins shouldn't be win-lose. And so negotiation is almost the foundation skill. And we build on that by looking at influence, engaging others, self-leadership, motivating others and the, the extra element which we're very proud of at Nanyang Business School is our expertise in cultural intelligence. So throughout the two trimesters, two thirds of a year that this module runs, there'll be various points where we have experts on cultural intelligence to give us an understanding of what cultural intelligence is and invite the students to think about what that means for leadership, either leadership here in Singapore for the locals, leadership in the region, leadership in other countries. So leadership globally or locally, where it's important to understand different cultures and to have cultural intelligence. <laughs>What differentiates the approach we are taking, particularly in leading people globally, is an underpinning action learning approach. Now, what that means is we will take students through a process. It's a process where they would look at some case scenarios, uh, act out, role play, how to respond in such situations, talk about some principles, plan what to do next, go through another case scenario, another set of role plays, practice, practice, practice. But action learning is a deceptively simple process that is very powerful. And one of my personal ambitions is that by the end of LPG, all of us, me included, will be better at action learning, which means we go into the workplace we're able to take almost any experience we have, work through it individually or preferably with action learning groups, reflect on what's happened, think about principles and theories, plan to do better and do better. And this is a cycle that goes around and around. This is a skill that lasts for life. This is an incredibly powerful skill. And we aim to teach, not teach that, but to facilitate the learning of that 
skill of action learning. What's unique about action learning, and I think what makes it really powerful, is that it's typically done in groups. You get to share your reflections with other people who have had similar experiences. This is why it's a very good tool to use in the workplace. So it's not just you. The reflections will be much better if you can share them with other people who've been through that experience or similar ones. It doesn't have to be the same. And together you can reflect, together you can conceptualise, together you can plan. They can learn themselves and they can guide the people who report to them, the people who follow them through similar processes, through similar ideas of reflecting and truly learning about what they've done. The old saying that the best organisations learn from their mistakes and don't dwell on them. They also learn from their positives and don't simply congratulate themselves. That happens through a very effective process of action learning. Thank you.